Hello. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you the uh, latest version of the video I'm making for how to get a, a Google Earth uh, image into Revit and have it become actually a topo surface object or a, um, in Revit architecture 2013. So I'm going to start in SketchUp and in my SketchUp I go up to File, uh, Geolocation, Add Location and this opens up its own um, bit of Google Earth and in there you key in your address or where it is you want to get the topo from so I'm going to go to Hyde Park in London, England alright it's there but to me it's a little bit too close in so I want to zoom out a bit there there's the whole park and then you'll see the uh, white box there. Um, I don't want exactly where it is, so I say select region, and then I can move it. So what I'm going to do is take part of the park, and then I'll take another um, snippet. And I'm going to line it up right on that pink thing. So once you've got it where you want it, you say grab and then once you've grabbed it it comes into the site and then you go to the um, tools at the top and I'm looking for my tools at the top there it is toggle terrain okay it's a fairly uh, flat site but you can see it did do a little bit I go to a top view I'm going to take uh, perspective off and make it a parallel. Okay, so there's a portion of the image. I'm going to go um, back to geolocation, add more imagery this time. And I'm just going to um, move the picture over. What I did when I did that was I noticed that the box was at this ST for St. George's Fields. Okay, I'm happy with that. Little bit, little tiny bit of overlap, and that's what I wanted. So select region, a little bit. Grab. Okay, that's great. Came in. I was just a little bit off. I moved, so that's good. Uh, if you want to see that in an ISO view, perfect. Now I'm going to save this. I'll just pop that onto my desktop. Call it Hyde Park. Okay, and now what I want to do is bring that into um, Autodesk Revit 2013. I'm using Revit architecture. And I should have had the program open, but I didn't. So, uh, we're just going to wait for a bit here. And what I'm going to do eventually is um, design a building as if it were going in Hyde Park. So, here it is. There's a uh, Revit architecture. I'm just going to say new. Um, y you should make sure you're using the same units when you do this. I'm just going to make it a new metric file. Wow, slow, hey? Okay, uh, quickly I'm just going to go back to my SketchUp file. I want to make that a th uh, 3D DWG file. So I'm going to go File, Export, 3D Model, pop that one on my desktop. Hyde Park DWG. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Anybody can use it. 2007. Uh, export. Says it's all good. There. Now I'm in Revit. And all I have to do is bring it in. So I go to the Insert tab. Import CAD file. DWG. I uh, just want to put it on level 1. Go find it. 
There it is, Hyde Park, DWG, open. It's thinking. Still thinking. Now it's doing something. All right, zoom makes sense, and there it is. Okay, so there's a little bit of overlap, and that's okay. So now that the DWG file is in there, I'm just going to flip to a default 3D view. If I turn this from hidden line to shaded, yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a triangulated mesh, and there's also a little flat, a couple of flat surfaces on there. What we don't need are those little flat surfaces. So um, what I want to do is not a total explode, select it and go up to and get a partial explode. Okay, so that way you can actually see that if I hover over and I get the one blue box, Hyde Park DWG. You can click on that and say hide in view. Can I partial explode the other one? If I wanted to move that, if it's if I've managed to confuse you, there, see? Triangulated area or just uh, two flat things. I'm just going to hide those. There we go. Okay, now I got them. Okay, we want to keep the triangulated mesh. There it is, lumpy and bumpy, not very, but that's because the site we picked wasn't very bumpy. Okay, I just put it on shaded view. Now all I want to do is turn this into some topography. So I go up to the um, massing and site tab, into the topo surface command, and I'm not going to create it by placing points. I want to create it from an import. I'm going to select it. And there it is, it's that one. I'm going to let it do everything, just say OK. It's thinking. Yeah, it has a little issue, I'm just going to ignore that. And so now what I have, there's two things on top of each other there. I've got a beautiful triangulated surface. Uh, oops, got to finish. There we go. This piece that I just clicked on, is, see that? It's the DWG file. So I'm going to right click on it and hide it because I don't know if I want to get rid of it quite yet. And there is my Revit topo surface all set to go. Contour lines, everything looks good. So now you can save that file. And call it whatever you want. Oops. And that's it. Now you can, you know, subdivide or split or do whatever it is you want to do. Oh, stop it. Okay, there. And save it. And now you can, you know, plan out your stuff for that. That's it for me.